I hope you guys have come to join me tonight for uh, our weekly Friday night live um, chat here on YouTube. So uh, welcome to everyone who's showing up. Thank you for joining me. Uh, go ahead and let me leave a comment, let me know in the chat that you are here and uh, you're ready to hang out and I don't know, it's, I'm kind of excited tonight. Uh, oh, I still have my apron on. Uh, we just had dinner. Hey, thank you VCal and Angela for letting me know that you guys are out there. Um, we just got done working and watching. Thanks, Christy. You watched me this morning. You're so good. Uh, hey, lots of folks popping up. Hey, Farmer Meemaw, how are you? Um, so we're here, we're at the board, and I'm going to show you my menu plan, but Ricky made special art for everyone today. Uh, I don't know, he says this, I was like, why is there a skull on my board? He says this is some character. Anybody know what this character is? I don't know. But then there's mashed screaming potatoes. Yeah. Screaming person. Winking guy. This is ladies. I don't know, and then sweating guy, he's nervous. I don't know what all this is about, but that's Ricky's art for the week. And oh, but then of course we have the other screaming baked potato. See, hey London, how are you? So just going over Ricky's artwork, cause he's gotta fill my board if there's room. Um, I don't have the cost of the grocery breakdown cause we did that on Tuesday a bug and um, uh, if it froze it's you because we're actually we're running really well right here so it should be fine hi Italy thank you for joining us hey Ohio so um without further ado let's talk about this menu plan because I gotta take this apron off last night we had tacos because I was I gotta be honest with you last night I was busy all day I came home and I was like I need something quick and easy and it's called tacos. Um, how's my teeth? My teeth are okay. Uh, we're getting by. The antibiotic really took um, the edge off of the pain and so now it's just kind of waiting for um, getting the wisdom teeth removed. So that's all it is. So tacos last night. Super easy. Tonight I wanted something soft in my mouth, right? That's important right now. So we had a frittata and I actually put pictures of it on Instagram if you haven't seen it. It looked amazing. How many of you guys, did you guys see my bonus grocery haul in the Frugal Family Food Facebook group? Because I actually had a bonus grocery haul that I filmed live this morning in the Frugal Family Food, well this afternoon, in the Frugal Family Food Facebook group. And I got the, I'm going to show you if you haven't seen it. This is why we had frittata tonight. And I don't want to show you the rest of my kitchen because I haven't had time to clean the dishes yet. And it's, it's not looking pretty. But I got these spinach containers. I'm trying to get one out. Look at this, one of these huge ones. It's bigger than my head. Huge things of spinach. 50 cents. 50 cents. So I had two of those. Well, I took an entire one and I cooked it down, 10 ounces of spinach, a lot of spinach, and I made a spinach uh, sausage and Swiss cheese frittata. Hey, teachers! Yeah, I really did score big time. And I made it with the sausage that I got in today's bonus haul. Um, you can still check it out, still available. You can't check it out now because you gotta watch me live here. But later, <laughs> when you miss me, you can check out that um, bonus haul that I got this afternoon. And I got sausage in the bonus haul too. It was $1.39 for a package, so I used that to make my frittata. You gotta see the pictures on Instagram because that frittata turned out so nice. It was ridiculous, thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, it was well played. And we have leftovers, so that's gonna be somebody's lunch tomorrow, probably Rick's. So, thank you, Farmer Mima. So, um, I'm really excited about that. We also had pancakes. <gasps> that was a mosquito. What is it with mosquitoes? Why are they in my house trying to bite me? I don't know. This is what happens when you're alive. Okay, so look, guys. Do you see what tomorrow is? Do you see that balloon right there? Do you see what that says? It is Rick's birthday. Rick's birthday. Uh, I hope you can see me. I can. See, everything looks like it's fine on my end. If you can't see me, I don't. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. Uh, try to refresh your screen. But Rick's birthday tomorrow. So we are having. You know, if we need to send him coffee, please send him some coffee, and then I don't have to buy him any. Um, <laughs> You can hear it brewing in the background. He is on Troll Patrol, as they say. So, um, yeah, trust me. 
So Rick's birthday is tomorrow, which is, works really well since I gotta be off the internet. So we're just gonna hang out and spend time together. And of course I'm gonna clean my bathroom. So if you watch the live event, you know I'm doing that tomorrow too. But the other one. Um, <laughs> so tomorrow for his uh, birthday, or, yeah, birthday, we're having steak, baked potatoes, and spinach. And that's actually one of Rick's favorites. Oh, he would love Israeli coffee. You should totally send that. So I don't know, we like have, our door shut. I don't know what the deal is with all of the um, mosquitoes because like our doors shut, our windows are shut. I don't know what is going on. Somebody must have gone in and out. So thank you for the happy birthday to Rick. He can see you. He can see you in the uh, comp chat there. Honey, make sure you are saying hello to the folks and thanking them for all their birthday wishes. <laughs> well, you, I'm not showing you on camera. He's waving like you can see him. He prefers a dark roast. Thank you for asking. Uh, Rick likes, he drinks his coffee black and he likes a dark roast. He likes to do it like if we go to a, a fancy coffee shop, he likes it when they do the pour over, you know, and really soak it in. So anybody want to know how old he is? Anyone want to take a guess at how old Rick is going to be? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you here in a little bit. We'll see. We'll see what you think. Um, guess low because you don't want to hurt his feelings. But... Um, <laughs> 47. He's not in his 40s, guys. <laughs> he is not in his 40s. <laughs> Go lower. Rick is 31. Thank you, Tangie. See, you're wise about that. <laughs> Rick is going to be 38 tomorrow. He will be 38. So, yes, yes, we were together very, very young, and he still looks amazing. Amazing for his age. I'm older than him by one year. I'm 39 this year, so. So, yep, we're just, we're just youngins. Not quite at that 40 yet. Not quite there, so. Yeah, great, that's me, that's me. So, um, anyway, so, I have not decided. Somebody at his work baked him a cake, and I have it in my fridge. So I'm gonna show you the cake that he got. Now, I was going to make him something, but I'm trying to reach down without making a mess kind of challenging. I'm doing that lower lip biting thing. Do, 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 do. Look at that. A strawberry cake. Do you see that? He's, you can see somebody's already had a piece of that, right? So, um, we are very young. I like to think so anyway. Our kids think we're old, but we're pretty young. Anyway, somebody at his work made him a strawberry cake. I was going to make him um, something special. So, uh, no, we were older than that. <laughs> so, um, I was going to make him something special, but he's got that strawberry cake to finish first. So I'll probably do it later in the week. Um, just because I want to make sure that, we, I try not to have too many sweets in the house at once, because what happens is that if we have like one big cake and then we make another big cake, one will get eaten and the other one will just sit and then it'll go bad. So I don't like, you know me, I don't like to waste food. So I will make him something special for his birthday, but just it's going to wait a couple days because somebody already was thoughtful enough to make him one. So there you go. So, <laughs> okay. So that is Saturday celebrating Rick's special day because he's special. Honey, you're special. I got to go. I got to go give him a, your special high five. There y'all, oh, there he is. Yeah, you're gonna be. Everybody, I'm the thing. there's Rick. He's watching. Hello. Happy birthday, honey. <laughs> it's not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Too early. All right, you keep on patrol, patrol, and give that birthday boy a kiss. I will. <laughs> Just not right now. Okay. <laughs> so back to the menu plan. I had to think about what I was doing. So he can see all your comments. So you guys can uh, can definitely keep talking to him if you'd like. So Sunday, we are going to have, I don't know if you can see it, um, ham, broccoli, and cheese soup. Um, I got packages of broccoli and cauliflower and carrots in it, so I wanna make sure I use that. And then um, Monday night is my coffee night, my monthly coffee night, and I need to send an email out about that. Honey, remind me to send my email out, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm gonna be out, Brianna's gonna be out with me, and Ricky actually has plans with friends, so, I bet you knew I would if I were evil. So, um, it'll just be Rick and Brian. And they might, a lot of times when it's just the two of them, they will, like, go out and have dinner. I don't know what's going to, what they're going to do, but I will have leftovers for them 
if they choose not to go out and just want to come home and relax, but they might choose to go out. I don't know what they're going to do. Frankly, it's my coffee night. I get it once a month, and I'm not even going to worry about it. <laughs> so there's that. Um, Tuesday, chicken enchilada rice bake. So, yeah, that's pretty much, that's going to be one of those things that I'm thinking about just, like, throwing it in the crock pot and um, throwing, making some rice separately and just throwing it all together instead of baking it in the oven. But we'll see how that goes. Um, coffee is a night out with friends. Yes, it is. And then Wednesday will be Ricky's ever popular chicken soup. Ricky chicken soup. You happy? Woo! I knew you would be. So there that is. That is our menu plan. Uh, coffee night. Once a month, me and a bunch of my homeschool mom friends go to a coffee shop and sit for hours and talk about anything we want to that is probably... We try to keep it off the topic of our kids. So, um, yeah, because we are all home with our kids all the time. So, I'm like in my apron going on my porch. So, we always go out on the porch. You want to see my kitten? Because we have to do that too. And here she is. She's getting so big. Look at her. Say hi to the people. Hi. Oops, she got caught in the apron. So the kitten's the only one up here on the porch, and thankfully the dogs aren't barking, and I'm finally getting my apron off after cooking dinner. So it's nice to come out on my porch and relax a little bit. It's kind of messy because the cats have been out here. Hi, Parisian fan. Whew. All right, today I was out here just a little bit. Um, not on the porch, <laughs> outside, because um, I was doing my walk, my morning walk, and I walked on my driveway, which actually is rather long. It's not super long, but it's long enough to walk back and forth on it, and we're up here by ourselves, so it's not too weird. And um, I have my Fitbit on, and I'm trying to keep track of my steps. Well, here's what I did. I had my phone, and I was watching Sense and Sensibility, right? So I get asked about the garden all the time. I don't know why, <laughs> but I do have one. It's poor, and I don't show it. Um, anyway, I had my Fitbit on, and I had my phone, and I was watching Sense and Sensibility, and there's that. <laughs> so I wasn't paying attention. I was walking on the driveway, and I stepped on a rock. So I had to take a break from my walking. I tell me about it, right? I was saying on Instagram, and I think I even put it on Facebook, that I am so Eleanor. Like, I am so Eleanor. Pride and Prejudice is my absolute favorite. Favorite. Uh, but the Kira Knightley one, if you know me, you know it's the Kira Knightley one. Colin Firth is lovely, but Matthew McFadden. Can I just say Matthew McFadden? Farmer Mimo, you are killing me with your 12,000 steps. I, I did, I was really good, but I, look at that. 6,191, that's all I got. My foot, I seriously cut the bottom of my foot. And I'm like, why do you walk barefoot on rocks when you are watching a movie? Who does that but me? So, <laughs> but I am gonna try to get at least 10,000 in a day. So as soon as I'm done with you guys, I'm pretty much gonna just walk back and forth and try to get my extra steps in. I could do it now while I talk to you, but I'm afraid that would probably end up with another accident. So we're not gonna do that, but. But anyway, so when I was watching Sense and Sensibility, I mean, I'm not a Colin hater. I like Colin Firth. Who doesn't? I mean, he's Colin Firth, right? But Matthew McFadden. Right? Do you know what I'm saying? The scene when they're in the rain. Can you, can you guys relate to that? The scene when they're in the rain in Pride and Prejudice? Underneath that little, um, it's, not a, it's not like a gazebo. It's like a temple or something like that. I don't know. Best scene ever. That's all I gotta say. And his voice. And his voice. His voice. It's amazing. Not much different than the awesome voice of Alan Rickman uh, as Colonel Brandon. Also amazing. So, those are my two favorite. So, woo! Getting in 15,000 a day now to burn some calories. Farmer Mima, you're inspiring me. <laughs> because I'm really, really, really trying Hey, Gastonia, North Carolina. I am really trying to um, try to start keto. I haven't really put it out there 
haven't put it out there with the keto, but I am, I'm trying to work on it. Um, in fact, I haven't even, Rick's watching going, what is she doing? I haven't even really talked to him about it yet. <laughs> um, but it's something that I'm, I'm like trying to do secretly, secretly. So I'm, I'm trying to keep it low until we have some progress to talk about because now that I've done YouTube for a year, I know that sometimes I'll start something and when I start something and I have really great intentions and it doesn't work out well, then I still have to answer <laughs> to everybody. And I know everybody says, oh, well, you don't have to answer to them. You kind of do. And it's, it's, it's cool. I don't mind it. I, I hope to make the paella video, video soon. Um, but it's just, it's just challenging to the soul. <laughs> To feel as though you have to answer to thousands of people every day, right? So, I oh man, Tangie, no, you can't say that. <laughs> Tangie is saying that uh, they're gonna, you're gonna hold me to it now. Okay, well, I I have put it out there, so there it is. I'm I'm sure I have to answer for it, but but I'm just taking it taking it one day at a time. That's all I gotta say. I'm still kind of new at it, still learning about it but working on it very, very seriously. And I've been swimming. I've been swimming this week, and I didn't get to swim very much the other day because it thundered like 15 minutes after I got in. So if you want to know about keto, you should go to Farmer Meemaw's channel because she is talking about it a lot. I do not know enough about it to talk about it. But when I do and when I have something to say, I will definitely let you know. So... But I've been enjoying being more physically active for now. That is like one of my main priorities. So we've been going to the park. And um, I've been also been swimming. Like I said, I could go swimming every day. I love just, do I look tan? Anybody think I'm looking tan? I have sunburn on my shoulders and my back. It's, it's actually a lot better now. But, um, but yeah, so that's what I've been doing with my spare time. And I feel like itchy now that I'm on the porch and the dogs are barking. So I might have to go back in. I, I like to come out here because the light is better and you can actually see. And our house is kind of dark. The keto flu. I hope not. <laughs> Maybe I should wait until after I get my teeth removed. So I, uh, I, I don't know what to do about that. So, whoo. All right. So I'm getting a lot of comments here. And I'm, I'm not catching them all, so if I miss your comment, you can repeat it. Or if you have a question, make sure you put it in all caps, and I'll try to make sure I um, get a hold of that. Uh, I did ask this morning on my live event for questions, and believe it or not, I really didn't get any. I know. Biscuits are amazing. Um, someone says, I can't do that diet. I like biscuits too much. Biscuits are amazing. I, I make some pretty good biscuits. But you know what else is amazing? Fitting into a smaller size, that's pretty amazing. So, hey, Bandana Grandma, how are you? So, yeah, everybody's saying me too about the biscuits, but yeah, that smaller size is, is what I'm going for. So, hey, you did finally catch a live stream. So, anyway. All right, normally I try to have something to talk about, and I'm like so not even in, in, in a good mindset <laughs> because I have had the teeth thing. So today I went to, um, do you guys go on summer vacation? We are not this year. Um, we are planning to go, if I haven't bought it up this week, to the Homesteaders of America conference in October. So that will be our vacation this year. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited to do that in October. And also, Rick's niece is getting married in October. So we are going to be taking two trips in October. So this summer, we're pretty much staying around. But like I said, we're trying to get out and enjoy ourselves. We live in the country, so just random gunshots all the time. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. So we're staying around here, just like I said, enjoying the... Um, summer with the park and the pool and that's been really nice did you guys catch my live at the fourth of july that was amazing that was amazing we had a really great time so thank you for catching it i'm so glad so anyway um no vacations for us this summer plus it's kind of busy with ricky 
um, finishing up his summer classes and both boys working. So summer is actually a challenge. Next summer, we might actually do something in the summer because Ricky will have the entire summer off. So, oh, somebody's saying nobody's ever happy about the dinner plans. Yeah, that, that happens. Nobody is ever happy about dinner plans. There's always someone. Someone is, I don't know what they're doing. We live out where there's no one. So I did get a funnel cake. I put a picture of it on Instagram if you want to catch that. So, um, yeah, I, I tried to, I've been trying to keep up with Instagram more. Um, Rick is an Instagram king. Like, he posts pictures all the time. So it says, what about a burger tonight? I don't know. I guess you guys are talking about uh, stuff in the comments, and I'm not catching it all, but it's been good. It's been good. So this morning, if you do not know, this past year, he is an Instagram rock star. Um, <laughs> this morning, I um, actually transitioned. Our homeschool group is a multi-county homeschool organization, and I have been in leadership this year, um, kind of the administrative executive head of the group um it's got a random title it's like women's group leader but um essentially it's the uh, president yes rick is on troll duty he is here in the chat if you want to say hey um but anyway so this morning i handed over the reins and someone else is taking over so there's that it's just just us so i'm so glad to be able to hand the reins over to someone else <laughs> because <laughs> Wow, that's his mob name. My husband now has a mob name. They're giving him a mob name in the, uh, in the chat. So, let's see. Might have to go in here and hang out with him. Because he loves it. Honey, what do you think about your mob name? My mob name. Babyface Rick. Oh. <laughs> in the comments. I'm getting a chair, and I'm going to pull up next to this man. Oh, there we go. What are the kids up to tonight? Brian, it's Friday. He is on his date night. Look at me. I'm on my date night, too. <laughs> and I'll let you guys see him. Yeah, well, I'm just waiting to cut grass. Yep, and um, let's see. Ricky uh, is hanging out on the couch in his pajamas. That he has been relaxing in all day. He got up in his pajama, pajamas, took a shower, and then put on fresh pajamas and lounged around the house all day. That's, that's what happens when you're a college student. Friday is his day off from both jobs and college, so he just relaxes. So, Tangie says hi. Are you going to say hi to Tangie? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading comments. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tangie, and thank you all for birthday wishes. Yes. we. Are. They said we're cute together. We are, mm. right? He, they're drinking coffee, too. Yep, he's got, look, there's the cup. Yeah, there it so. is. Right? <clears throat> pajamas are life. I just wear comfy clothes pretty much all the time, so pajamas are kind of like extra. Mm. Hey. Hello, dear. Hey, see, <laughs> just a fact, we're cute together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so, but you know I'm partial. Okay, Brianna is hanging out in her room. Somebody was, uh, coffee's an antioxidant, don't even get him started. It is, it is. Don't get him started. Um, we're making our video about the questions <laughs> about the finance lessons uh, for Sunday. Mm -hmm. So you guys can catch those on Sunday. Whew, yeah, college student life. So, Tangie saying coffee is life. Can Rick sleep after having coffee? Eventually. Yeah, I've been having more and more trouble the older I'm getting. That's true. It used to help me go to sleep, and now it is keeping me up more at night. I wish you guys many years of happiness together. Thank you. We appreciate Thank that. Thank you. i got to hold this camera up so you guys can see us. Brianna is hanging out in her room. Oh, thank you. Put it on you. <laughs> <laughs> then you can't hold it. You gotta have it on I'll you put it too. On you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I love coffee. Uh, I just can't have it like he can. So, yeah. I but we, I get decaf and he has the regular. I used to not have decaf, but not anymore. Here, I can hold it. You're gonna actually hold it for I'll me. I'll try. You know, oh, there we go. There you go. <gasps> it's kind of hard to watch comments and 
Go ahead. Yeah, it's. I know you, you got a lot go. of stuff going on. He's got the full computer, my camera. You gotta no. turn it towards you, baby. I can't get it. Go ahead. There you there go. There it is. Okay, you guys are the best. The internet needs more strong, faithful husband and wife figures. That's us. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're just totally normal. We are totally normal. I totally. promise you. <laughs> I, 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 I always feel funny. That's the one thing that's fun, funny about being online is that, um, you know, when you put things online, um, you did miss the menu plan. We did that first, but you can watch the mm-hmm. replay. When you put things online, you know, you want to put things online that are helpful and encouraging and um, supportive to people. Mm. And you want it to be good things. You know, nobody wants to air dirty laundry or put negative things out there. But that doesn't mean (sighs) that... (laughs) got it. I'll hold it. That doesn't mean that um, the people that put Uh, things out there have everything together. Because we certainly don't have everything together. And that's for every area. That's not just in terms of marriage. That's Even though we'll do the finance things, we're not professionals in terms of financial um, skills or anything. Oh, no. We're just sharing the things that we've found that are successful in our life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But that doesn't mean that it's perfect. I mean, it's one of those risks that you take when you put things out there that people are going to think everything is, is perfect all the time. Mm-hmm. And it's not. No. No. We're so totally normal. We're so totally normal. I sent Tangie a meme the other day. And it was some, and I think I sent it to you too. Mm. It was something like, my husband would take a bullet for me. But then it was like, <laughs> would he complain about how I drove him to the hospital <laughs> on, the, on the way to get the bullet out or something like that? I totally messed that up. But uh, it was something like that. So, yeah. yeah. So we just, we, we bicker back and forth like people do. But, you know, that's how it is. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah, we are trying. I'll, I'll say that. I appreciate that. So I just want to throw it out there. Ah. You hope your husband never sees our videos about the budget. Well, you know, I guess it just depends on each family because um i don't know Ooh, there's lots of comments going on and i'm trying to make sure i catch everything so mm. tangy you are awesome I, let me just say tang just keep she's just keeping track of stuff she's yeah. on troll patrol for you and that's yeah, good because now Thank you can you. hang out and talk talk to the people tell them about your day i always say the people you know some youtubers have like these cool names for the people who watch them and um I, I mean, like, what would I say? Um, Tangie is the bomb.com for real. What would I say? Like, like Doug and Stacy have the homestead homies because I was like the fundamental home homies. I don't know. <laughs> We're not really homie people. <laughs> I'm not a homie. <laughs> no. So I just say the people. Uh, <laughs> say hi to the people. <laughs> that's funny. I, I, you know, all these people that we watch that we're friends with, they have like these really cool things that they do, and I feel like we just don't have like, um, like um, Mike Pratt Family Homestead. He has his YouTube thing. I, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, I, <laughs> I have nothing like that. Yes, like fundies. No, <sighs> no. definitely not fundies. <laughs> <laughs> collab with Tangie about biblical submissive was the way I treat my husband. I mean, it's it's the way I think I should treat my husband. I can't say that, that I've got submission 100% down or anything, but um, 60 packets of vegetable seeds for $6. That's awesome. Yeah, like, we totally need a catchphrase. We're the fundamental fam. You are family, though, right? Yes, I do kind of like that. But am I really the kind of person to say fam? Like, Brianna says fam. You know what I mean? She's, uh, Farmer Mima says she just calls her viewers y'all. I just call you the people. My people. You're my people. I follow David Crowder on uh, Instagram, and he always shares these pictures and hashtags at my people. <laughs> like today on Instagram, I shared the fat laces. Because when I was a teenager, I had um, Adidas shell toes with fat laces. Oh, he's, he's adjusting my arm to make sure it's right, right? I was trying to help you hold it. <laughs> on your arm. You're fine. Uh, do we know the farmhouse, the uh, farm full house? I don't know about that one. Um, but anyway, so I had these Adidas shell toes with fat laces when I was a teenager, and I was in the dollar store today, and I saw all these fat laces. Mm. I was like, I cannot believe those are back. I knew the Adidas shoes were back because I, you know, Brianna knows everything about what's popular and what's not, even though we totally don't. Um, <laughs> hi, Germany. So, um. So anyway, and so we were talking in the comments and somebody said something about the Reebok shoes. And I said, you had the pumps. I did have the pumps. Yeah. He had, he had the... the Two versions of the pumps. The original and then the uh, the ones that went um, blacktop 
or whatever. Because, you know, I was... Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. N- never played basketball, though. <laughs> but but I looked like I did. I looked the part. Whatever. Uh, I did. <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, oh, yeah. Very, he, had a, he had a starter very, jacket, too, right? Athletic. We're really going to get... We're going to get back on memory lane now and really talk about those old things, the starter jackets. You're, you had a Redskins one, right? Redskins. Yeah. Go Skins. Oh, my. <laughs> Wow. One day. <laughs> really going to turn ugly. <laughs> but, um, I know. So anyway, because we're from the Washington, D.C. area, so it had to be Redskins, right? Mm-hmm. But anyway, in the 90s fashions. I know, right? We are, this is when it starts to sound like we're old, but we're not. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. We're young. We're so young. That's what we tell ourselves. So Just getting older. Getting there. It's, it's creeping up on us. So um, let's see. My husband and I have just gave our lives to the Lord not too long ago and I really love this channel you got me excited about things changed my life it's a blessing well thank you so much Jennifer I appreciate that that's wonderful let's see Tangie's talking about 90s fashions homemade bell bo- hold on I'm, I'm losing track of comments here <laughs> do you ever do couponing no no I don't have time for that I tried it a couple times and it totally did not happen clutter Tangie's 90 fashions were homemade <laughs> bell bottoms and band t-shirts um, I feel like the 90s was 10 years ago. Me too. <laughs> um, almost 20. Almost 30. Thanks for the reminder, Rick. It's really almost 20, not 30. College boy. <laughs> yeah, if you're, if you're, if, if you're, if you're, if you're gonna say something, you know, make it right. I said it right the first time. I might have to, you know, spank him on camera. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my word. Okay. I'm not adding to this video at all. You should, though. Oh, I'm just enjoying You have nothing to say about 90s fashion? I do just track pants <sighs> no, and I, I dress the same now as I did then. <laughs> but you really do. Yeah, I do. I, I've, I've never changed my the way I dress. I've never changed my hair. My, my, the color of my hair is changing. <laughs> but yeah, not intentionally. <laughs> I still brush it the same way. <laughs> well, you when I first met you, you brushed it different, though. Oh, I, I did go through my slicker phase. Yeah, he had it. He had it like slicked on the side yeah. of his face. Yeah, right? yeah. I went through a f- phase where I used to, uh, you know, I would, um, yeah, <laughs> I would condition it, condition it, <laughs> you know, make it greasy, <laughs> and then I would put like gel or mousse in it, and then afterwards, and then I would go behind it and spray it. I had the the slicker thing for a while. I was, I was a different kind of kid. <laughs> wow. High bangs. I never, ever mastered the high bangs. Um, I always was embarrassed by it at the time, but now I'm so happy oh, that I don't have right. shameful pictures. Um, in terms of, you know, like things that I'm like, wow, look at those bangs. I don't have anything like that. Um, he's refilling his coffee, in case you were wondering. My hair has pretty much been like this. Um, let's see. I had perms through middle school. But I think in ninth grade, it started like this. Tangi, the Cabrera wife. What? (laughs) Caver's wife. I think that was probably autocorrect, right? I can never do the huge bangs either. I don't don't know what it is, but... Oh, Ricky, you decided to join us? Is that... Hello. Yes. Everyone say hello to Ricky. He's also got his coffee. Like father, like son. What cup do you have? I know. I just grabbed a. Let me see it. It's a romantical one. <laughs> <laughs> it says, "You will forever be my always." Oh. I just reached in and grabbed a cup. That's Brianna's <laughs> cup. Oh, is it? That's Brianna's oh. cup. So, yep, yep. Like father, like son. Back there. Mm. Do we play instruments? Uh, Ricky plays the guitar, and Brian plays piano, and Brianna played um, flute. What are you doing, Joseph? <laughs> I'm kind of watching him on camera and watching on the computer as well, so it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ricky, Tangie gave me a cup when I came to her house, and it's got a rooster on it. I don't know if you guys um, have seen that cup around in any of the videos, but Ricky has confiscated that cup. It is now his cup. I'm I'm not going to describe it. I'm just saying he has taken that cup. That's like his cup now. So... Thanks, Tangie. <laughs> Ricky. I know, right? Ricky should totally give my cup back. But nah. he's probably not going <laughs> to. Tangie said give it back. Nah. Mm. I like it. 
Yes, that is Ricky's art on the board. And uh, you got anything to say about the potato thing? What was what was the deal with the screaming potato, screaming mashed potato? Uh, I drew... I was at school one day, and I drew something. It was supposed to be one thing, but it didn't turn out how I wanted it. And one of my classmates was like, it looks like a screaming potato. And I was like... Oh, okay. Um, just kind of Now it's started, your thing? Just started doing it. I have... I probably have one in every single one of my sketchbooks right now. A screaming potato? A screaming screaming potato. potato. I have many. Screaming mashed potato. Screaming potato. <laughs> screaming hot potato. Screaming french fry. Oh, wow. <laughs> Potatoes come up in a lot of our things. Like, even the cats. Love tater tot. Tater. Yeah. And then the baby, Mr. Crinkles. It's actually... He's, he's Mr. Crinkles. Crinkle that's, that's not the one that I just showed you. The one that I just showed you is Tyga. A screaming potato mug. What? That would totally... You should do a t-shirt, Rick. Somebody was saying on one of the videos that you should have your own, like, t-shirts with the faces on them. That'd be cool. Right? Anyway, um, we have another kitten around. It's an orange kitten. And we call him Crinkle. And it's like the Crinkle Cut French Fries is where the name came from. Brianna had that one. So... Yeah, we have a ton of coffee mugs in this house. Don't try to sneak out of the frame. I'm going to keep you in there. <laughs> Zazzle or Cafe Press, so you can get it printed with. So, anyway, so uh, we have a lot of coffee mm. mugs floating mm. around here. A lot of different ones. And Ricky is a coffee mug expert. He used to sell them on eBay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my word. Okay, we are at the 36-minute mark, so we have about 15, 20 minutes, thereabouts. We try to keep it just under an hour if we can. So, how many, what, mugs? Got to get dinner going. Thank you for joining us. Bye. <laughs> What's on the bottom of that mug? Oh, it says, love your mug, which I do. Like talk show hosts with your mugs, yes, but like that's morning talk show hosts. Like most people don't have coffee. That's my boy. Most people don't have coffee at eight o'clock at night. I have it throughout the day. Yeah, you do. Morning, I need a little pick morning, me up. noon, night. You needed to pick me up from yeah. your pajama day. It was pajama day. No. coffee wall smash challenge. Are you kidding me? No one would touch the walls in this house. If you don't know, there are some rules in this house <laughs> about some cleanliness. Smashing the thing on the wall. Now, you all know <laughs> about the towels on the wall, <laughs> right? I mean, towels on the floor, excuse me, the towels on the floor. You know about the towels on the floor. But you also know that you're not allowed to touch the walls in this house. It is, it is a rule, is it not, Ricky Joe? Yes. Yes. Yeah. A rule. We do not rule. touch the walls in this house. I actually did a blog post on it. It was uh, called Throw Away Your Chore Charts. And it was about how we keep our house clean. And uh, one, of the, one of the rules we made really early on was don't touch the Well, guess who made that rule? It just makes good sense. <laughs> you, you paint a wall, you know. Well, you don't have to repaint it immediately if you just don't touch it. Yeah, she said Rick would die here. Parker literally climbs the walls. That would not happen here. Well, I mean, I don't even want to think about what would happen. I mean, it happened more <laughs> when our kids were little. There were a lot of no, things that they happened. They didn't climb walls. Well, they didn't climb that. walls, but they were they handprints. No better. Handprints. Handprints. Yes. But you know, now they're getting older. They can, they can get by without touching the wall. Without touching the walls. So yeah, <laughs> definitely not throwing anything about the walls. Uh, yes, no touching the walls. But, you know, it's funny because we've been in this house for a while. You'll send us a photo. Don't stress Rick out. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. You need to wash your walls a lot, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, we've, we've been in this house like three years or something. Mm -hmm. So they would have races climbing the walls when they were little. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. No. So, um, so we don't have to repaint any room in this house yeah. except for two. I just had a wall talk with her the other night. The house still looks like it just was painted, except there's two rooms that are scuffed up, messed up, and that's his and Brianna's. Brianna's. So two rooms Brianna, in this house. Brianna, she, she's wearing makeup now, and she has a mirror in her room, mm -hmm. and I went to kiss her goodnight the other night, and I, as I was leaving, I don't know what happened, but it's all over the wall by the mirror. Mm -hmm. 
and it's hard to get makeup off. Mm-hmm. I've used everything. Last thing I used was Mean Green. <laughs> oh, did you really? <laughs> just, just a little. <laughs> it, it it did a better job than the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol. Okay, so yes, so <laughs> and scrubbing. That's how that is. <laughs> Paint's still on there though. Well, Thieves <laughs> Essential Oil. They're saying to get makeup off the wall. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes. She, uh, Tangie's saying yes, M2. Okay. So I don't know what it is. She uses she uses it's a challenge. so much more makeup than I do. Yeah, it's a challenge. We don't have flat paint. All of our walls, or um, I have not tried the EnviroCloth on that. I, do you think that will work? I don't know. So um, are you into gaming, Ricky? Heck yeah. Hot pink wow. wall. No, her wall is not hot pink. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so we do have magic erasers. We do have magic erasers, but I, I don't, I'm sure you haven't tried that on the wall yet. No, no, no just the mean green. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, Dawn, that would probably work too because it is a degreaser. Mm. Yeah. So we'll, don't worry, we'll keep trying. What games do you like, Ricky? Um, a lot of the more, I guess, common ones. I mean, like Pokemon. I like Nintendo <laughs> games. Nintendo games. Other than Zelda, I can't. I'm, I'm just not as smart. Yes, <laughs> like like Brian. Brian loves Zelda. He can always figure out those puzzles. I can never figure them out. They they make mm. me mad, and then I just like give up. <laughs> Ricky's not our super gamer. He's not really uh-huh. into the the video game thing because he's so much into art. He mm. likes all of his um, manga and anime. He doesn't spend a lot of time on video games. It has to be a really good game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brian, on the other hand, does enjoy video games, but he's not really a super gamer either. Like, they they don't have headsets, and they don't do the whole no. uh, thing. I don't even know what, what that is. But, I I mean, I know people do it. And they play a lot of old games, or yeah. he, Brian, does. Yeah. So, but Brian plays more than Ricky, for sure. Definitely. But <laughs> Mega <laughs> on Atari. Yeah. What Brian is, is not a PC gamer, either. Speaking of Brian, any updates on his lady friend? Um, is that Brian in the hat? No, that's my husband. Oh. <laughs> Mario Brothers oh. and Duck Hunt. So, Heck yeah, Duck Hunt. Yeah, we, we, can, we own that. We can relate Still. to Mario Brothers awesome. and Duck Hunt. <laughs> Rick and I play that. In fact, I, I hate video games, have always hated mm-hmm. video games. But who doesn't like Mario Brothers, right? Oh, we Mario played that games. when we were kid, kids. I'm trying to... I, I've never beat it, Mario, though. You never beat it? I beat Mario. I, I think I probably could, but I just... My patience. I just, after a while, I feel like I've been there, done that, and I... Turn it off. You know what the real best game is? Tetris. Ew. Did you just say ew? I did. I said ew. It's like Pong. Oh, my word. It's back to Atari. <laughs> Frogger. Tangie says she oh, saved the good. princess many a time. <laughs> That's why we're friends. <laughs> That's from Brian's personal collection. Brian's not here to keep him out of his room. So, <laughs> right, Tetris, I know... And I, I do play Tetris in my freezer as well. I had Tetris on the original Game Boy, the black and white one. Mm-hmm. See, not only did he have the Reebok pumps, he had the original Tetris. I was not and all spoiled. Those. I know what you're saying. He had, yeah, he had all the good stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I did. Yeah, he had all the good stuff. So, this is just our life. What were we talking about, though, before <laughs> I don't we know. brought up the gaming? <laughs> well, I just threw my phone. I don't know. Oh. Somebody asked me. Coffee, about... coffee cups, makeup on the wall, the greaser. Yeah, well. Uh, Farmhouse Full is a great YouTube channel. I Tangie loves a Farmhouse Full. Pac Man. Somebody's talking about Pac Man. Oh, awesome. Pac Man was awesome, but you you can't really win at Pac Man. It gets um, aggravating after a while. Yeah. You think so? I have a hard time playing. I just get faster and faster, and my hands sweat, and I just <laughs> <laughs> it's stressful. Pac Man is stressful. Yeah, it is. This is what happens when you have the guys join in. See, we can talk about fun lady stuff, but then the guys join in and it's like, let's talk about video games. I don't talk about video games. Somebody brought video games up. <laughs> I That's never, true. Rick, Rick's not I, a video I, I game I never person. talk about video games. I, it was actually something that I was very <sighs> thankful for um, when we were together because at the time, like, a lot of guys played video games when we were young, too. And I totally did not want to be with anyone who was into those. Mm. So, what's Rick's favorite brand of coffee? We're uh, well, I like just about anything, but uh, I mean, at the moment, I guess my favorite, I'm, I'm plain. I just like Starbucks, not Starbucks, not uh, Starbucks. uh, Folgers. 
Folgers. Folgers Colombian. Colombian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is his absolute favorite. Whatever is on sale, that's what he gets. Whatever's on sale. <laughs> but I, I will say that I, I'm kind of getting pickier with coffee. I used to drink any old thing. And, uh, I mean, I used to reheat last night's coffee in the morning. Mm. And I don't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. I've gotten a little pickier. But I still drink about anything. Yeah. Well, he needs tons of sugar and milk in his coffee. Well, Rick has, he drinks his black. Mm-hmm. My coffee's liquid sugar. I used to do that. I used to put a ton of sugar and uh, milk and all in my coffee and mm-hmm. have almost like a little coffee candy bar, <laughs> you know, liquid donut. And uh, I've qu- I quit doing that. I started carrying a thermos. Yes. And uh, it, it was just too hard to mix it in the morning and take it, so I, I would force myself just to take it black. Mm-hmm. And uh, you, at, a, at one point you were getting flavored coffee here and there. Mm-hmm. And, and, I, and I, I can drink flavored coffee, but it, if it has sugar in it and milk, it's just hard for me to drink it. So I started drinking that black, you know. And, and you were trying to cut back on your sugar, too. Yeah. And, and at a certain point, I just, I like black coffee better now. I, I can sip sugar coffee, but I drink black coffee. Yeah, Tangie does need to get a P.O. box. I, I keep seeing that, mm-hmm. um, that on there. You need some coconut oil. We have coconut oil. I don't know if you're talking to me or Tangie or somebody else, but we do have coconut oil. And I'm trying to catch up on all these comments that I we're missing. Yes, Tangie's channel is the best because she's Tangie. <laughs> <laughs> Tangie's the best. We're trying to get Tangie to come over here and visit us. Ahem. Ahem. <laughs> 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 now. So, <laughs> she needs to come because we came to see her. We came to see her. She needs to come this direction and see us. So... Well, it's yes. good for removing coffee stains on your teeth. Coconut oil. Yeah, I've heard that it's um, good for whitening, too, I was because I'm doing the oil pulling. So I was thinking, oh, wow, that would be really good for, um, I, you know, the whitening aspect of it. But I was really just thinking about trying to make my teeth feel better. So Tangy is awesome. That's why she's my home girl. Hey, Rockford, Illinois, we actually visited there a couple, was it a couple years ago? Two years in October. I have a shirt. <laughs> Cold October. <laughs> yes, Tangie, um, if you want to come stay for a while, you're totally good to do that. Rick won't mind. Mm-mm. Because he knows we'll be cooking up good food. <laughs> and keeping that. If there were two of us, the house would be clean and there would be plenty of food. And he wouldn't have to entertain me. It would be so easy. His life would be great. So that was subtle. I'm, I'm good at subtlety. <laughs> I'm so nuts. Ah, she said Rick isn't saying nothing. <laughs> you want Tangie to come, don't you? Yes, yes. I just, I, I'm reading comments. Okay. <laughs> I'm not used to this live. Uh... Say it to Tangie. Say, Tangie, come visit our house. Come. <laughs> <laughs> that was very convincing. Yeah, thank, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's sincere. <laughs> wow. I'm just, all these comments are rolling up. <laughs> I'm trying, you should come back to Rockford. I'd love to meet you all. You know, Rockford was fun, but there was lots of tolls to get from Chicago to Rockford. So um, that, well, that was the that was the, the way thing. back because we, we flew well, out of Chicago. It was, it was the way in that we had the, a lot of tolls. Uh, yeah, more going to Rockford than Than coming out, yeah. Yeah, So that was, that was something. Fresh scrambled eggs made with nutritional yeast. I, you know, I don't have any nutritional yeast, but... Um, yeah. Let's see. Ricky Jr., are you a fan of any sports team? Um, you like sports, Ricky? He's not really sporty. I, I'm not really he's, sporty. He's artsy. I like... <laughs> an I'm artist. an artist. Um, he likes art and physical, that is like, it. I can draw some like people playing sports. I like drawing <laughs> basketball players. Though. Those are fun to draw. Um, wow. But the most... like I guess the only sports team that I really root for it all would be the Redskins and that's just because it's a it's a family team yep that's how it is so Tangie says Amanda's going to take me to her discount store I am going to take Tangie to my discount store when she comes to visit me and we are going to definitely do some videos on that so uh yeah that's why she's got to come can you guys imagine how great the videos would be if Tangie came ow (laughs) he leaked on my hair (laughs) Oh, my word. Okay. 
So, all right, we've got about 10 minutes, guys. You guys got any last minute minutes. questions for us? I got the guys on here. They get to enjoy you. You mentioned Rock, Rockford. We did like Rockford. Go, Tangy, go. We, uh, we agree. It was just she and I went alone and uh, we drove around neighborhoods and all looking and stuff. We did. It was very pretty there. Tangy said the Tangy and Mandy show. <gasps> like, you guys have no idea the ideas that we've had about the Tangy and Mandy show. Like, we totally, wouldn't we be like Rhett and Link, but for moms? Wow. Will you ever change your budget? Uh, Can I marry your son? Um, which one? <laughs> Ricky's not exactly marriageable. He's only 17. Um, <laughs> um, will we ever change our budget? Let's see. Ricky read my comment on Famous. That's funny. Ah! <laughs> so many comments. Uh, right? The Tangy and Mandy show will be amazing. I know. Adopt me. <laughs> 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 oh, Brianna's deciding to join us. She's, uh, she's hearing about the one. Oh, she's oh, she's, she's running, running past. She's running. Uh, does your daughter have new videos? Brianna, they want to know if you have new videos. Do you have any new videos, Brianna? No. No. No, but we will be filming one soon. <laughs> she's going to be doing one on back to school shopping, and we have Come one coming up. Come We've on. been trying to get one ready. <laughs> <laughs> she tripped on her blanket. <laughs> it just got crazy over here. Yeah. <laughs> she's trying to sneak past and just. Let's see. <laughs> Who wouldn't love a female Rhett and Link? I know, like a mom female Rhett and Link. Like, and you know, they're like our age. Do you know that? Do you know Rhett and Link are our age? So, so. And they seem so much cooler than we do. Although Tangie and I think are pretty cool when like we're by ourselves. <laughs> you're very cool. <laughs> when we're not moms and wives, <laughs> we're pretty cool. So. Brianna's here now. Yeah, we're gonna. Brianna's hiding behind Ricky. You can see her. So, I know. We, you know, when you're on YouTube, who's my favorite child? Um, <laughs> Obviously, Ricky. Anyway. <laughs> we could teach them a thing or two. We could teach them a thing or two, because we wouldn't be eating any nasty stuff. We'd be eating awesome stuff. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. We wouldn't be saying, will it taco? We'd be making tacos. And it would be good. We wouldn't say, will it ice cream? It would be it ice would. cream. It would. Yes. So it, that would be the difference. It, it wouldn't be just like silliness. It would be like seriousness. Like you need to make this. So will it chocolate? It won't be will it chocolate. It will be this is chocolate. And we will be eating it. This is chocolate. It will be amazing. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> right? That's what we need. You tell them, People are saying, I tell them they're all my favorite when I'm alone with them. Ah! Can you do a video of one of your pies? I want to do. I I made this blueberry sour cream pie. Tell them about the blueberry sour cream pie. Oh, it was great. It was uh, better than ice cream. Yeah. So, we'll be different. <laughs> Tangie says we'll be different. Dipping different chocolates into chocolate. That's what I'm saying. Different. different. That's funny. That's what I'm saying. Like so, Rhett and Link. They. This is Dove chocolate dipped into Hershey's. It's delicious. <laughs> no it's not it's fine so it's just um it's just gonna be a great show if when tangy and i ever get together we're gonna have loads of delicious tasty snacks and uh we'll probably we'll probably make pie we'll probably eat pie we'll probably like grow stuff in the garden we'll probably like just do all kinds of different things so yeah but that's just like if tangy ever comes to visit do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tangie, hello. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, my word. <laughs> yeah. It's National Chocolate Day. Is it actually? Is it? I don't know. I'm trying to catch up on all these comments. They're going, she says tomorrow. Does oh. Tangie have a YouTube channel? She does. She's Tangie, the caver's wife. The infamous, so famous, if you're not... Uh, subscribe to her. You need to be Tangy the Caver's wife, as you can see on her name right there. Tell Ricky I'm staying in his room. You can have his room. He doesn't need one. Hmm? He can oh, sleep on the couch. Damn. Right? Oh, is that why? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing. Continue on. You're fine. Continue on. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you're sitting on my hair. <laughs> it's my first time live. Oh, you're doing great. <laughs> Thank Tell you. Tell Ricky he's doing great. Thank you. He's doing, doing a great, great job on his first live uh, video. 
Yeah, he's been avoiding the live videos. Well, too. yeah, live makes me nervous. So I like the live videos. I don't know. Just I'm trying to catch all the comments here. Coupon gal, hello. Doing, see, you're doing great. You're doing awesome. Nick is doing awesome. Nick is doing Thank great. Thank you. Oh, yes. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm your silent Look partner. Your <laughs> yeah. I'm doing a good job at it, though. You are. <laughs> this is what it is in real yeah. life. Rocking Rick. Rock and Rick. That's what it is. See, we got the whole family here. It's like you're Rick. hanging out Except with us, right? Rick. Yeah. Rick. Yeah. The live videos like you. Coffee. He has his coffee. We believe me. We talked about coffee. When you go back and watch the replay, there's been a lot of coffee talk around right here. <clears throat> Had pizza for dinner and pretended it was bruschetta. Ooh, I am so glad you said that because the, just a reminder. Um, she gets she gets that she looks like Mackenzie Ziegler a lot. Right, Who she really does. That? Somebody said it in the comments. Well, I don't think I do. <laughs> yep, almost the whole family. Brian is with his uh, his his special lady friend, so <laughs> they are out um, with her family actually. So that's what they're doing. But I think he purposely planned that on Friday nights um, so he could avoid the live event. <laughs> but anyway, so I was just going to say Daddy Curbs did our frugal family food this week and he made bruschetta and if you didn't see it, you need to watch it cuz he did an amazing job. Oh, you're lighting up my face. Yeah. Do you like should, it or you not? Keep that, yeah. <laughs> cuz it's so dark over here. I probably should have turned the lights yeah. on. Oh, no, not not the down light. I'm, I'm that sorry. shows the wrinkles. <laughs> Got to do the up light. Yeah, you don't have wrinkles. So, anyway, thank you. Honey. Isn't he the best? Yeah. He's the best. So anyway, no, Ricky, no, no. no. That's too, too much light. Nope, see, yep. Brianna, you should do a room tour. She should. I don't. My room is a mess right now. But you should lighting. actually, like, clean it. I was working on it, actually. That, that's yeah. <laughs> so anyway, you guys need to check out Daddy Curbs. It's Blake Kirby is his name if you want to look for his channel. Good movie suggestions for Friday night. Yes, Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> Sense and Sensibility. Sense and sensibility. <laughs> Seven uh, Brides for Seven Brothers. Hold on, hold on. Maybe Sound of Music, maybe in St. Louis. All excellent films. Uh, yes. Any of the Lord of the Rings, I Hobbit, don't. or Star Wars movies. Yes. Oh, I mean, what more do you need in life? All of those are wonderful. <laughs> what is Brianna's and Ricky's channel? Ricky doesn't have one yet, and Brianna is Brianna. It's capital B R I A N A dot capital B capital E. So, let's see. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to catch all these comments. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Lots of Texans here, yep. Oh, I think everybody here is, you know, probably everybody came because of Daddy Curbs. And I hope you guys, he's a him. Texan. So, yeah, Brianna loves Daddy Curbs, and she loves Luke. <coughs> so, yep. Yeah. All right, guys, we have about two minutes left. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yep. So, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank and uh, I love the Daddy Curbs bloopers, too. Luke is awesome. Woo! Okay, so tomorrow is Saturday, and I will be off the Internet, but you guys can certainly um, check out our videos that we've had up this week. And I don't know if I have anything else. <laughs> um, check me out on Instagram. Sunday we're going to have our video up with our first financial lesson. Okay. And um, I don't know if I have anything else. We're just going to go relax because we got to get ready for somebody's birthday. <laughs> He's pat it's, he was patting my shoulder and then it just got like, like stop. <laughs> he loves talking about the birthday. So nah. thank you, Tangi, for being on Troll Patrol today and helping us out. Did and you make that up? Yeah, well, and I'm Troll sure somebody Patrol? heard it. You do know, like right? it? That is so snazzy. Right? Thank you. I, it, I'm sure somebody else uses it, but... I'm proud of that. I just thought about it. So, anyway. All right. Um, that's it for this week, and uh, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We won't be touching the walls, and we will be <laughs> drinking coffee, and uh, that's it. So, we will see you guys Sunday, Lord willing. Right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Everybody say bye. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm trying to get this out of here. <laughs>